Hello, we are broadcasted from in the basement at an undisclosed location. Hello everyone, this is Cam Hemmings. A pleasure as always. Ah, spring, it returns. Put in a spring in my step. How are you? Seriously. How are you doing? I want to know. Tell me how you feel. Wow, that's the first time anyone asked that in a long time. That's heartbreaking. Come on, narrator. No need to be facetious. I mean it, Cam Evans. My bad, narrator. Well, I hope you are holding up. Guard in your heart. Don't let it be broken. But it's spring, Cam Evans. Love is in the air. I'm due for a summer romance. Sucky, 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 narrator. Look at you go. But this isn't about you. It's about them. Well, it's about time I spoke, Cam Evans. If you insist, go ahead, narrator. Hmm? Well, go ahead, narrator. I'll be good. That's what I thought. You will always be Pippin to my Jordan, Watson to my Sherlock, Robin to my Batman. That would be an honor, Cam Hemmings. It is spring. The rains are falling. The pollen is spawning. The powers of growth for the flowers beneath your toes. Every mammal has the same objective, to dust off the winter, put on their best coats, and impress the other of their species. With the hopes of starting a family, what is the end game for us here? Is it children? Yes. Spouses? Yes. Family? Yes. Why? Why it's love, of course. The feeling of delight in your heart, the tender organ, the bulbous muscle. The heart is a wonderful creation. The heart. He has a big heart. She is heartless. Rocky Balboa, the illiterate boxer, has a lot of hearts. And Adrian, her heart belonged to him. Give some charity. They say grow a heart. Like the Grinch, three times its size. I'm sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Your son has an enlarged heart. That's a good thing, right? Not in this case. I hate him. He has a heart of stone. She has the heart of a lion. Heart of gold. Heart and soul. They were pouring their heart out. Singing their heart out. I wear my heart on my sleeve. This video, I have my heart set on it. And I will always speak from the heart. Don't go around breaking hearts. We are broadcasting from an unknown location in the heart of the city. Wow. People love to talk about hearts. So let's settle our hearts. How? By understanding them. Center slightly left of the human being beats a hundred thousand times a day. Two gallons of blood a minute, a hundred gallons an hour pushed through it. If you moved 100 gallons of water physically from one place to another, you would be exhausted. And yet your heart is pumping over 2 gallons a minute, 100 gallons an hour, for 24 hours, 7 days a week, 365 a year, for your entire life. The vascular system that it is sending this life force through is over 60,000 miles. That's 60,000 miles of capillaries, veins, arteries. 96,600 kilometers. The heart starts to beat before the brain is formed. Before you even have a central nervous system. Amazing. Science states that the body is controlled by the brain through the central nervous system. Yet the heart beats on its own. It has its own beat. You can remove a heart completely from a body and it will continue to beat without a brain. Has its own electrical system that causes it to beat and pump blood. The heart is self-controlled, self-sufficient. How? There are neurons in the heart. Brain cells in the heart? Indeed, narrator. 
and very little is understood about this. What is understood is that the brain does send signals to the heart, but the heart on its own can and does send signals back to the brain. It is like it has its own thoughts. In studies, one in the 1970s by John and Beatrice Lacey suggested that the heart not only sends signals to the brain and vice versa, but that the heart can disobey the brain. They noticed the signals sped up and slowed down, suggesting that the heart has its own type of intelligence. The brain gets signals from the heart reaching the amygdala, thalamus, the cortex which relate to emotions, learning, and reasoning. This study and its ramifications are barely understood to this day. So what does this mean, Cam Hemmings? I don't know exactly. Maybe the heart makes choices and is affected by those choices. Perhaps there are things the heart finds wrong and perhaps things harm the heart. Think about it. Heartbreak physically hurts. Joy in the heart physically heals, and everything in between is felt in degrees. Maybe doing wrong hurts your heart. Notice the guilt that eats you when you lie. You move greasy. Your heart hurts. People turn themselves in after committing horrible crimes because of the guilt. That is irrational. Putting yourself in danger by putting yourself in prison where before you were free is highly irrational but it seems better than the guilt carried in the heart you know what i mean perhaps all of those ancient tales of the heart being the home of the soul have something to them why else would we have so many metaphors for the heart my heart my poor heart maybe all that wrong that i did and got away with is the punishment itself because i have to live with what i did as do you.